We've created a visual roadmap to show you how to become a reinforced concrete special inspector. The reinforced concrete certification is issued by the International Code Council, ICC. They're the same organization that publishes the International Building Code, the IBC. The IBC governs pretty much every commercial project built in the United States, and it's even used outside of the U.S. in a few countries in select areas. The reinforced concrete certification is recognized nationwide. The first step to becoming certified is to see what it will take for you to qualify. Here are the work experience and education requirements. On the reinforced concrete application that you can download from our site, you'll see this work experience criteria. You'll notice that the more formal education you have, the less field experience you will need. So the least amount of field experience you need is two years. And to get here, you also need to have two years of completed college or technical schooling. A high school diploma or GED is the next breaking point. With this amount of education, you need three years of field experience in reinforced concrete construction inspection. Without either of those, you're looking at five years experience in the field before you can get the full license. So what counts as work experience in reinforced concrete construction inspection? If you work in construction trades that involve concrete, that counts. You may be in the trades working around concrete foundations and other reinforced concrete elements. For example, if you're an iron worker, a concrete pump operator, or even a concrete mixer driver, you're exposed to and seeing concrete placement all the time and these count. You may be a superintendent or a foreman on a job site overseeing commercial or even residential construction, and this counts too. If you're an ACI technician testing concrete in the field or the laboratory or even testing concrete without having the ACI certification, this counts too. And that brings us to step two, ACI. One of the requirements for the certification is getting your ACI concrete field testing technician certification. This is both a written and practical test that's offered by your regional or local ACI chapter. Your nearest chapter may hold this test once a month or every other month or maybe more frequent than once a month. Most of the chapters though are booked out for several months or worse. So you wanna get this test scheduled as soon as possible. And the beauty of the reinforced concrete certification is that you don't have to do the first four steps in any particular order. You can sign up for your ACI test now even if you don't meet the field experience qualifications to get the certification. I'll explain that in a minute. To find the nearest ACI chapter, check out our Reinforced Concrete Roadmap under Step 2, ACI. We have a link to all the ACI chapters in and outside of the U.S. You can search by your state, country, and also regionally. Sign up for this test now because this is the major bottleneck in the process. Step 3 in the process is passing the GR test. This test came on the scene in December of 2017, and it became a requirement for anyone getting their first ICC Special Inspection certification after this date. For example, let's say you passed your ICC masonry back in 2015, because you even have one ICC certification prior to December of 2017, you're not required to take the GR test. You're grandfathered in. However, if you're just now taking one of the seven ICC Special Inspection certification tests, after December of 2017 and it's your first certification, you have to take the GR test. So the GR test is a 25 question test and it costs $50. Once you pass it, you'll never have to take it again. And it counts for all your future ICC special inspection certifications. We have a free GR course to get you ready for this test. It's gonna give you an idea of how we train you for these certification tests online and our GR course takes about three or four hours to go through, and it's free. Now with all that out of the way, step four is to study for the Reinforced Concrete Certification Test. The exam is actually made up of two different tests, codes and plans. There are two separate test fees and two separate test sessions. The two tests must be taken at a Pearson View Test Center. They're all over the U.S. and outside of the U.S. We linked the search field on our roadmap so you can see where your nearest testing center is located. We also linked a video showing you the process of signing up for and scheduling the test. You will need to get a hold of several books to study. You can find a list of books on our roadmap with links to where you can buy them. You can sometimes find good deals for used copies on Amazon or eBay. Also keep in mind that code books are an investment. As an inspector, you will use these on site at work and reference them in your reports. This is your personal library that you're building. If you already work for a company, 
Check with them and see what references they have in their library. They may have one or two that you can use. Okay, back to the roadmap. Do you remember how we said you can do the first four steps in any order? If you took and passed the test today without getting your ACI or your GR tests out of the way, ICC will still give you an Associate Reinforced Concrete Special Inspector certification. Getting the Associate's license is still a great thing. You may still be able to inspect reinforcing steel and observe concrete placements under many city and county jurisdictions, provided a fully certified Special Inspector is willing to sign off on your reports. The associate certification will remain as your credential until you've completed the first three steps, but you won't have to take the test again. This is why you can take the test now, after studying, ahead of the first three steps on the roadmap. So once you finish your training, you'll be at step five, schedule, take, and pass the tests. Turning in the reinforced concrete application is the last thing you'll do after passing both tests and completing steps one through three. And at that point, it becomes a waiting game. You're waiting for the application to be approved and your wallet card to arrive in the mail. You can download the application now and you can see what's involved and get much of it ready for when the time comes to take the test. The application itself will instruct you on how to fill it out and submit it. Pay special attention to the requirements. After you pass, make sure you let us know. We want to add you to our wall of success stories. The reinforced concrete certification is a critical one. What are you waiting for? If you're not already certified, start the process today or tomorrow, but don't wait longer than that.